and this is in the south side of Bridgewater. I've never been here before. The only time I heard about Somerset Bridge is when we played rounders as primary school children against other schools. Somerset Bridge came to Burnham on Sea to play us. But I've never been here. But I've come back today to photograph Brunel's Railway Bridge. Luckily, we've got a train. Somerset Bridge is hard to find. I've never been here in my life. You have to come down a muddy road through fields in a semi-industrialised area or on the east bank of the river you walk through an industrial estate. Brunel built this bridge. It was the second bridge that he built in Somerset. The other one was about 16 miles north of here at Uphill South of Western Supermare. This bridge crosses the River Parrot. Contracts were let for building the bridge water to Taunton section of the Bristol and Exeter Railway in the spring of 1841. The only major work was Somerset Bridge, virtually a mile south of Bridgewater Station, where the line crossed the River Parrot. Here Brunel designed a 100-foot span masonry arch with a rise of only 12 feet and therefore nearly twice as flat as his most criticised bridge at Maidenhead. In August 1843, when it had been used for over a year, Brunel reported to the directors with regard, with regard to Somerset Bridge, although the arch itself is still perfect, the movement of the foundations has contained and continued, although most imperceptibly, except by measurements taken at long intervals of time, and the centres have, in consequence, been kept in place. Under existing circumstances, it is sufficient that I should state, in compliance with a resolution of the directors, measures are being adopted to enable us to remove these centres immediately at the sacrifice of the present arch. Six months later, the directors informed shareholders that a most substantial bridge has been built over the River Parrot without the slightest interruption to the traffic. Between the original abutments, Brunel had substituted a timber arch which did duty until 1904 when it was replaced by a steel girder bridge. That's a passage from Colin Maggs' book called Isambard Kingdom Brunel. The abutments might have shifted somewhat because Somerset Levels is clay. Clay is characteristic of this landscape, so those abutments might have moved somewhat. The bridge that you see today, all that remains of Brunel's work are the abutments on the left and right side of the bank, and that's the steel girder that's been put there in the early 1900s. It's not a fantastic piece of engineering compared to the Bristol Suspension Bridge, the Tamar Bridge, but I call this one of the hidden gems of Brunel's work. It was a very important bridge because, as ever, when Brunel built a bridge across a waterway, he had to make sure the bridge was high enough so that all shipping would be able to pass through unimpeded. And he also had to keep his railway line flat because he took a great pride in avoiding gradients. And although this is not a beautiful site by comparison to other works and the centre span is not original, it is spiritually elating in a way to be here because I'm within talking distance of where Brunel was when he was here surveying the River Parrot and designing this bridge. And when I remember that I've been to his grave in London, where he's buried near Paddington Station at Kendall Green, and he's been here as well, it's quite fabulous feeling really following our heroes and being in their footsteps. So I hope this video has reached you somewhat as it's reached me. Thank you for watching.